3.8 is the last lesson of chapter 3, and it's titled Unions and Intersections of Sets. Our goal is to find the unions and intersection of the sets that we encounter. So let's begin by defining what a union is. A union is a set that contains all elements of the set. So say that you were taking the union of sets A and B in the picture at right. The union of those would be every single element in both of the sets. And the symbol that we use is this U. It's very nice and self-explanatory because U stands for union. And how do we find the union of two sets? What we do is we list the elements that are in either set or in both sets. But if you have an element that's an element of both sets, you do not have to write it twice. Second bullet point, an element is in the union if it belongs to at least one of the sets. It does not have to be in both. It has to belong to at least one. Example one, in your left pocket you have a quarter, a paper clip, and a key. In your right pocket you have a penny, a quarter, a pencil, and a marble. What is the set that represents the different items in your pockets? Well, what we're doing is we're going to find the union of your left pocket and your right pocket. So first of all, let's write down the sets for left pocket and right, and we'll call left pocket L. L equals, and then just list everything. So there we have a quarter, a paper clip, and a key in the left pocket. And now let's do the same thing for the right, list everything in the right pocket. Now we're going to take the union of the left pocket and the right pocket. And we're going to list all of the elements in both sets, but as I said a moment ago, you do not have to list elements more than once if they're in both of the pockets. So in the union of the two sets, we have a quarter, paper clip, key, penny, pencil, and marble. And that completes this example. Now let's talk about intersection. Intersection is quite different from union. It is the set of elements that are common to every set. So it has to be an element of all of the sets that you're dealing with. So take a look at the picture in the top right. If we're looking for the intersection of A and B, it is only this part right here, the overlap. That is the intersection, nothing else. Everything inside of this overlap is in the intersection and only the elements that are in both sets are in the intersection. Now, for the symbol of intersection, we use an upside down U. And how do we find the intersection of two sets? Well, first of all, you list only the elements that are in both sets, like I said before. And this is kind of redundant, but an element is in the intersection if it belongs to all of the sets. So make sure you know the difference between union and intersection. Disjoint sets is another type of set. It is disjoint. If you have two sets and they're disjoint from each other, that means that there are no elements in common. None whatsoever. And if you were to take the intersection of two disjoint sets, you would get the empty set. Remember, empty set has nothing in it. And remember, intersection means they overlap. Well, look at this picture below. They are not overlapping at all. So these two sets are called disjoint, and the intersection of disjoint sets is the empty set. There is no intersection. Okay, flip your note sheet over to the back. Example two, we have set X. It is all natural numbers less than 19. Set Y is odd integers, and set Z is the multiples of 6. So what I'm going to do now is list all of the numbers that apply for set X, Y, and Z, and you could do the same. Okay, so make sure you write this down. Um, first set X, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., but I ran out of room, so I'm using the dot, dot, dot to show you that it goes until 18. Set Y has all odd integers, so there's a dot, dot, dot on both the, the left and the right side to show you that it's going on forever in both directions. And set Z, 6, 12, 18, 24, add 6 each time it keeps going. So now in part A, we need to list the elements that are both natural numbers less than 19 and multiples of 6. That's what it means with X intersecting with Z. So the numbers that apply to both natural numbers less than 19 and multiples of 6 are 6, 
12, and 18. There are no other numbers that apply to both set X and Z. So now let's do part B. We have Y intersected with Z. And what we need to do here is list the elements that are both odd integers and multiples of 6. So let's take a look at our lists above. Set Y, all odd numbers, and set Z, 6, 12, 18, 24, all evens. Can we have an odd number that is an even number, or vice versa? And the answer is no, we can't. So they don't overlap at all, and we just learned what that is called. It's called disjoint sets. So that means that Y and Z are disjoint sets. And what happens when we try to do the intersection of two disjoint sets? The intersection is the empty set. Okay, that's it for this problem. Example three. Three friends are going camping. The items in each of their pack backpacks form a set. Which items do all three friends have in common? So we have a yellow book bag, a blue book bag, and a red book bag. So first let's label yellow, red, and blue. Now let's list all the items that we see in each of the book bags. So in the yellow book bag, I see a flashlight. Do you see a flashlight in any of the other book bags? No. So because the flashlight is only in the yellow book bag, we're going to put it right there. Now sunglasses. Do you see sunglasses anywhere else? Nope, just the yellow again. Sunglasses. I see a pan. Do you see a pan anywhere else? I also see a pan in the red book bag, but not the blue. So we're going to put it in the overlap of the yellow circle and the red circle. Okay. Um, what else? I see a water. Water bottle is in each of the book bags. That's very good. So we're going to put water in the very center where it overlaps with each of the book bags in the circles. Hat, I see a red hat in all of them. That also goes there. And map, that is definitely a useful item. Map goes in all three. Now, let's look at the blue book bag now. Camera, I don't see a camera in any of the other book bags, so that goes by itself in the circle. And first aid kit, the yellow does not have a first aid kit, but the blue and the red book bags do. So we're going to put that in the overlap of the blue and the red circles. And the red book bag also has rope. So as you can see, this is like a visual diagram of all the items in the book bags. And the question was, which items do all three friends have in common? What you do is you look at the very center of your diagram, and those are the items that all three friends have. So we're going to write a conclusion sentence now. So all three friends have a hat, a map, and a bottle of water in their backpacks. That concludes this lesson. We learned about intersection and unions of sets. You can try the lesson check below if you like, or you can wait until we do similar problems together during class. Good work!